Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be comparing the brand new Huawei Honor 7 with the LG G4. The Huawei Honor 7 that I've got here is in a silver color, they're also offering it in a grey and gold but at the moment on the Vmall store which is the Huawei European store you only have the silver color and uh, the grey color available. Uh, the LG G4 that I've got here is uh, the tan leather version and now those of you who follow me on YouTube you must have seen plenty of videos on the LG G4 uh, this is one of my daily drivers and I use this phone every day uh, and I'm using the Huawei Honor 7 as my daily driver as well okay so I'm gonna be discussing everything from uh, build quality in hand field to screen quality performance uh, battery life camera specs and uh, overall conclusion as if to which set is better and their pros and cons and I'll be uh, as quick as possible this video might be a bit longer than usual so please do bear with me okay so first of all let's start off with build quality now end of the day uh, it's down to your personal preference and everybody has got their own taste but in my opinion the Huawei Honor 7 is well built as you can see it's made from aluminium and metal and um, the metal finishing at the back is very smooth and very nice it's got this nice beautiful uh, chamfered edges as you can see shiny chamfered edges along with uh, the power button here and the volume rocker even the tactile, tactile you know feedback to the buttons is absolutely brilliant let me just make you hear this on the camera as you can see it's, it's not loose at all it's nice and firm and everything is so premiumly built honestly this 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 kind of uh, build quality reminds me of the HTC One M8 that I have once had which I sold recently and the M9 also has the same build quality as chamfered edges along with nice unibody aluminium metal construction I think uh, this handset for 250 pounds is simply unbeatable when it comes to build quality you're not going to find many handsets which will give you this kind of build quality uh, with this kind of power and specs in a package like this so I think while we've done a brilliant job from camera one module to fingerprint scanner to everything from top to bottom I think it's beautifully done and the screen to body ratio is excellent as well it's a 5.2 inch full HD 1080p by the way and the way the phone has been made is excellent even the machine drill speakers at the bottom as you can see they're well cut out as well along with the micro USB charging port so all in all the build quality is supreme and I think it's one of the best in this price category okay when it comes to LG G4 it has this tan leather back now this back is obviously removable you can have a red a red maroon I think one of those colors a tan leather black and a couple of other variants which are available uh, but the good thing about uh, the LG G4 is that this back is removable so you can always remove the back and you can always replace the battery and you can also put in your SD card on the Huawei Honor 7 yeah the, the SIM tray here acts as a memory card expansion slot as well and plus it is a dual SIM version so you can either have two SIMs in one go or you can have one SIM and one SD card and this is expanded up to 128 gig but you cannot replace the battery because this phone is fully sealed so battery is not removable whereas the on the LG G4 you can remove the battery and you can put obviously SD card and SIM as well and this is a single SIM version not a dual SIM version so in terms of uh, practicality removing the battery and stuff and changing your back cover I think LG is more flexible and that's why LG insisted with going with the plastic and leather back because they wanted to give people uh, more flexibility with Samsung going um, on the same path as Huawei sealing their phones with no SD card and battery I think uh, LG is the only vendor left in the market which gives you that expandability uh, but when it comes to um, the overall build quality I think uh, the Huawei Honor 7 is m is more rigid the reason for that is because as you can see about this phone the LG G4 for, for over three months now and the leather is already beginning to wear down as you can see around the edges and around the corners here as you can see uh, the, the, the color is coming off and the leather is being exposed now so in terms of uh, longevity I would say uh, the leather back will eventually give up at some point as you can see the wear and tear is obviously there around the edges uh, I'm not, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there so it's the leather is definitely coming off so at some point I'll have to obviously change my leather back but then mind you I'm not using any case on the LG G4 as well and that was purposely I uh, done it purposely so that I could see how long the leather back will last so in the end of the day it's down to you it's, it's personal preference if you like leather with black and you want more flexibility LG G4 is the way to go and if you want a premiumly built handset more or less like the iPhone or say the, the HTC M8 or the M9 then a Huawei Honor 7 is definitely the way to go forward 
Okay, now let's discuss about the screen quality. Uh, in this department, they're both different. The Huawei <coughs> Honor 7, <coughs> excuse me, is is, is um, offering you full HD 1080p screen uh, as compared to the Quad HD screen on the LG G4. Now, when it comes to screen quality in the day, whether it's full HD or Quad HD, it really doesn't matter as much because um, they both look bright. They but they all they both look absolutely stunning, and there's hardly any difference in screen quality. Um, it's only when you start say reading text, small text, or you you really go into uh, into detail pictures you probably see the difference um, on, on the LG G4 say if you're watching 2k content or 4k content you're probably more clear on the LG G4 as compared to the Huawei Honor 7 which has a full HD panel but if I bring this, both these close to you guys you can see I have both them on, on full brightness let me just turn the brightness all the way up to full let me just do it on the Huawei Honor 7 first and there we go turn the brightness full and also turn the brightness full on the LG G4 as well which is full up already now let's bring these babies close both to the camera and see as you can see there's hardly any difference you can pick up on the camera in fact to me the LG G4 screen is probably not as bright as the one on the Huawei Honor 7 and the credit must be given to Huawei for that because for a full HD panel they've done a really good job but like I said in day to day use if you're whatsapping emailing Facebooking you know um, listening to videos watching to watching videos on YouTube you know probably not gonna see See that much of a difference anyway so it doesn't really matter as much <clears throat> but as far as I'm, I can tell uh, um, they're both pretty much the same uh, Quad HD obviously has a bit better resolution a bit more pixels and it will be uh, only uh, useful when it comes to watching a high uh, quality Quad HD 2K or 4K content otherwise they are pretty much the same so uh, it doesn't really matter as much I still prefer full HD to be honest I, in my opinion it's my personal opinion I, you can differ though that I think Quad HD is still an overkill there's no need for a Quad HD screen because it affects the performance and the battery on the LG G4 it hasn't affected the performance and the battery as much but I can tell you uh, now that we are discussing about battery life might as well just talk about it now the battery life on the Huawei Honor 7 is definitely better than the LG G4 of the few days I've had the, the Honor 7 is constantly giving me over five hours of screen on time it is well capable of giving you a close to five and a half to six hours of screen on time if used a bit carefully so this phone can last you for two days as well or, or 1.5 one and a half day if you're careful uh, with the LG G4 this probably won't last you till the evening uh, probably you I would say uh, 14 to 16 hours and not beyond that because obviously the quality screen takes a lot uh, on the battery so battery wise I would say LG G4 is slightly weaker than the Huawei Honor 7 but still both phones can last you um, all day pretty much every day um, I did post my battery performance video for the LG G4 on my channel so please do check it out I will be posting the battery performance for the Huawei Honor 7 in the next few days once I spend enough time with it but in the last few days it's been constantly giving me over 5 hours of screen on time which is absolutely brilliant now let's discuss the performance bit. Um, the Huawei Honor 7 has the high silicon Kirin 9335 octa-core chipset. This is the latest and the best so far that Huawei has put in, in any any of their phones. Uh, it has got it's, it's an octa-core setup with a Cortex A53, uh, clocking uh, a maximum up to 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, whereas on the LG G4 we have the Snapdragon 808. I think we just clocked up to 1.8 or 2 gigs. I can't remember exactly something like that. And um, it is also so it's, it's a hexa-core setup, not an octa-core chipset. Um, uh, LG to, uh, preferred the 808 over the 810 because as we all know, Snapdragon 810 had heating issues and um, a lot of vendors who put 810 uh, couldn't control the battery life and the heating issue. But the 808 is a lot cooler um, compared to, that's why LG G4 went with the hexa-core. And this has 3 GB of RAM and the Huawei Honor 7 also has a 3 GB of RAM. Now in terms of performance, obviously hardcore specs aside, hexas and octas, they don't really matter as much these days because at the end of the day, what matters is how well you optimize your phone. Now, for instance, look at the LG G4. This phone is one of my favorites for this year. And when it comes to performance and UI and everything, the phone is absolutely amazing. Everything that you open the phone up is super smooth. There's no lag on the phone whatsoever. Any, anything you touch, it opens very instantly. And this phone at times seems to me a lot quicker than a Snapdragon 810 phone. For instance, I have the OnePlus 2 on me as well. But that phone doesn't look as, as, as fast and as quick as the LG G4 is because it's more optimized 
optimized for the octo uh, for the extra core A to eight instead. And with the more future updates coming up, I hope OnePlus Two will get even more faster. But for now, I personally think LG G4 is definitely quicker than the OnePlus Two, which is obviously I'm sure very shocking to people who are actually reading to me right now on YouTube. But it's a fact. LG G4 is definitely quicker than the OnePlus Two. I will be doing a video uh, comparison video with the, with the OnePlus Two and the LG G4, and I will show you guys what I mean. When it comes to performance on the Huawei Honor 7, the high Kirin high Silicon, uh, silicon uh, high Kirin 935 Octa Core is a brilliant chipset. It's been well optimized with Emotion UI. The phone is running, by the way, a lollipop, thank God, because on the Honor 6 Plus that I also got, it still hasn't got lollipop on it. It's called the old Emotion, emotion UI 3.0. This one has the latest Emotion 3.1, Emotion UI 3.1, and also has the latest uh, high Silicon Kirin 935 Octa Core chipset uh, with 3 gigs of RAM and has been well optimized by Wabi of the, of the time that I spent so far with the Wabi on a 7 it is super smooth everything is open very very quickly as you can see anything attached to responds very really quickly and the phone is super smooth with no issues whatsoever whatever you open up it opens instantly and I've had no lag no issues whatsoever it's probably one of the best Huawei phones I've had so far I've had a few of them before I had the Honor 4, 4, 4C before and the Honor 6 Plus and now the Honor 7 and I think this is definitely uh, on the smooth the side so when it comes to performance overall no matter what you open on the Huawei Honor 7 it's quick it's fast and it's reliable and the software is non laggy so performance wise both phones are on power uh, LG G4 is slightly more quicker than the Huawei Honor 7 but for a general consumer you won't even notice as much of a difference both phones are fast both phones are lag free and you'll have a pleasurable experience when it comes to uh, the overall performance of the phone now let's discuss uh, the camera and specs now this is one thing which a lot of people actually uh, are very you know um, picky on a lot of people will pick their phones just because it's got a good camera on it I have to say camera wise LG G4 is definitely a winner no question about it um, LG G4 has one of the best cameras available in the market it has a 16 megapixel sensor with the f 1.9 aperture which is one of the best apertures available even better than sorry 1.8 aperture which is even better than the 1.9 offering on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus now the, the, the camera on the Huawei Honor 7 is a uh, 20 megapixels but as we all know and today it's not down to megapixels it's down to how uh, well you have optimized your camera with your software and how good are your post uh, processing algorithms for instance I like the HTC M9 has got a 20 megapixel camera as well but its cam camera quality is not on par with the LG G4 or the S6 similarly with the Bobby Honor 7 the camera is good don't get me wrong in well lit conditions it can take some good pictures but in low light it struggles and overall when it comes to quality uh, the amount of time it takes to focus and stuff I still think LG G4 is the better phone uh, now quickly let's take a photo and show you guys and see if you can prove my verdict I could be wrong though and I haven't tried this yet I'm trying it live now in front of you guys in the camera so I got a Harris cup here let's take a quick photo with the Huawei Honor 7 and we do the same with um, sorry I'm on selfie camera let's go back there we go okay so the light is on flashlight we always want to switch off okay there we go so we're gonna tap on the screen and we're going to take a photo with the Honor 7. There we go. And then we'll compare these photos together. And the both phones are, by the way, at full brightness. And we'll see how the photo comes up. Uh, selfie again. Okay, let's go back. There we go. Okay, I'm going to tap on the screen again. And there we go. I've taken, as you can see, the, 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 the shutter timing and the overall response time on the LG G4 was much, much quicker. Now let's compare these two and see how the colors come up. Okay, as you can see already, sorry as you can see already uh, the colors on the LG G4 are much much more uh, natural if you look at the Harrods uh, logo really quickly let me double tap in to see and let me double tap in to see on the LG G4 as well as you can see Harrods is obviously more refined on the LG G4 as compared to Huawei Honor 7 and the orange is on the brighter side which is a bit oversaturated whereas uh, the, the colors on the LG G4 and the orange in the background you can see in the cup is more natural as well let me bring this close and let me show you this as you can see there's definitely a difference between the picture quality uh, in both the phones the back uh, as you can the, the tablecloth is more focused on the uh, on on the Huawei Honor 7 the whites are obviously better on the on the Huawei Honor 7 but it comes to cup 
I think the colors, the, the, the actual subject, as you can see, the LG G4 is definitely doing a better job. It's not oversaturating and giving you this natural tone. And obviously the 16 megapixel camera with the, for the, with the very low uh, one f1.8 aperture is definitely taking better photos. And even the whites are natural at the back, even though it might not be as focused, but the whites are more natural. Whereas here, the whites are a bit more overexposed and oversaturated. So, but, but all in all, not a bad camera. It's more than enough for day-to-day -day photography. And for the price that you're paying, I think it's not too bad at all. And the Huawei 7 has got a capable camera. It can definitely match with the LG G4. But when it comes to small little minor differences, I think the LG G4 will definitely beat uh, the Huawei Honor 7 or any other handset for that matter. Okay, let's put the cup away and let's put both the phones back in the cradle and start discussing other things. So when it comes to camera uh, quality, I would say LG G4 is uh, definitely the winner, no question about it. As we all know, G4 is, a, is, a, is, a, is one of the best cameras in 2015 and it has beaten almost every phone out there, including the iPhones as well. Okay, now let's talk about support and warranty. Now that's something which is uh, important to a lot of people out there as well in the day. I mean, you can spend all the money on the Huawei or save money here or spend more money on the LG G4. But what also matters in the today is, are you going to get updates and support? Now, this is where I think Huawei is slightly on the weak side. Uh, like I said, I still have the Honor Huawei Honor 6 Plus on me, but it's running on KitKat, even though it's a three network phone. And I'm pretty sure that on the Huawei Honor 6 Plus, uh, Lollipop has still not been released, even though this phone comes out with Lollipop. 5.0 with the Emotion UI like I showed you earlier and so does the LG G4 as well but uh, I had the LG G4 for about three months and as far as the updates are concerned I am I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it because in the last few months I've had uh, three months I've had almost three updates on the LG G4 two of them were the big maintenance updates in which they improved quite a few bugs on the software and then they also gave you gave you a stage fright uh, update not too sure if the stage fright update has come up on the Huawei Honor 7 I can probably check it out later but what I can tell you now is that uh, with the Huawei um, support is not the best they take a long time to update their handsets uh, whereas the LG G4 uh, LG being one of the major brands uh, they used to be really really bad a couple years ago but they've really improved a hell lot on updates and every few months uh, you'll be getting regular updates on the LG G4 for the next couple of years so I think in terms of support and warranty uh, definitely uh, LG G4 is a winner uh, warranty should be good on on, on, on on the Huawei as well now we have a VMall uh, European Huawei store from where you can buy all uh, uh, the Huawei handsets with warranty but when it comes to software support I'm afraid uh, Huawei are not still there uh, in probably a year's time or two years time they're definitely working towards it like, like you can see the software's improved the lollipop is there the build quality is improved there's no lag on the so on the software side camera is very good as well and everything seems to be working really really good on the Huawei on 7 but support is one thing which Huawei will have to really work hard on because OEMs like Apple for instance LG Sony and all Samsung they all give you uh, excellent uh, after sales support and they send regular updates to their phones and which I think is something very very important in this time and age otherwise the consumer will be little to you and you won't probably be able to sell as many handsets so guys now jump to conclusion and let's talk about which one is better for what scenarios and what are the quick pros and cons if you want and why would you prefer LG over Huawei and why would you prefer Huawei Honor 7 over the LG G4 I think if it comes to battery life battery life is something which a lot of people out there love on their Android phones Sony have, have mastered this act in the last couple of years they've been the champions in battery life but as far as these two are concerned if you want a good battery life on a phone uh, I would say go for the Huawei Honor 7 because this phone is very capable when it comes to giving you screen on times it can give you well over five hours of screen on time it can get close to six hours as well depends how you use the phone so this phone is capable of lasting you for over a day maybe close to two days if you use it carefully when it comes to LG G4 it has got decent battery life it will last you a working day but it won't go beyond a day with a regular use so uh, battery, li battery life wise I think Huawei Honor 7 clearly beats uh, the LG G4 and obviously it has a quad HD screen so it doesn't help when it comes to camera if you want to looking for a camera on a phone I would say pick the LG G4 because it has one of the best cameras available in the market even though the, the, the camera on the Huawei Honor 7 is not too bad for, for, for casual photography like Google Plus, Facebook, Instagram, social media it's more than enough even the selfie camera is 8 megapixel and so is the selfie camera 8 megapixel on the LG G4 as well cameras are good enough but I think when it comes to um, uh, you know attention to detail and high quality pictures for every scenario whether low light or uh, well lit I think LG G4 is uh, definitely the winner in terms of performance I would say 
LTG4 is still the winner again because this phone is very very fast indeed a lot faster than many other phones I've had in in, in 2014 don't get me wrong the Huawei Honor 7 is quick as well but as you can see it's not as quick as the LG G4 LG G4 is very nice very fast very very silky smooth this is smooth as well don't get me wrong whatever you open up it opens up very quickly with no problems whatsoever but the LG G4 it comes to if, if you're a geek and if you're looking for small little minor differences in performance I would say LG G4 is definitely the winner Oh, in terms of build quality, I would say Huawei Honor 7 takes this one because it has the metal build quality aluminium and most people prefer this. And in the longer run, you can drop this phone, it will have dents and scratches, but it won't break because it's aluminium. Whereas on the LG G4, it's plastic, it won't break as well, but you can see the wear and tear on, like I showed you earlier in the video, on the leather, leather will wear and tear. So if you have the plastic version, it probably lasts you longer than the leather version. So guys, this was a quick version of a uh, uh, quick versus battle between the LG G4 and the Huawei Honor 7. Both sets have their pros and cons, but at the end of the day, it's down to you what you prefer and what you want from a phone. So guys, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And like always, guys, please subscribe to my channel if that helps, as it helps. And uh, any questions, please ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help, and I'll see you guys in the next video.